Hello, friends. Today, let's solve largest rectangle in histogram. Let's first think about the brute force solution. We just iterate all the bars from left to right, and uh, we combine the current bar with preceding bars to get new rectangles. For example, if the current bar is five, we know the five times one is a rectangle. And we try to combine this one and five, get a new rectangle, which is two times one. And then we combine this two, one, five to get a new rectangle, which is three times one. If we solve this problem, uh, use this algorithm, we will get the time complexity of big O n square. But we can solve this problem in linear time which we will use a stack. Let's see how to use a stack. Actually, we will maintain a strictly increasing stack. Let's see how it works. Uh, but first thing first, what does that mean by increasing stack? Do we save the height in the stack? Actually, we save the index in the stack. The reasons are two. The first reason is that the height may have duplicate. Like this three, we have two three heights. The reason two is if we just save the height, we will never know the new width, uh, the width of the new rectangles. So we need to save the index and by subtract the uh, index, we can get the width of the new rectangles. That's the reason. So by means of the increasing, actually we based on the heights, we maintain an increasing stack. Let's see this simple histogram. As we iterate from left to right, so the final, you know, the final increasing stack should be the one, two. Because the last bar should contain in the stack. So that's the reason. And we may notice that the two bars between this index zero and the three are greater than the height of height three. Because let's think, uh, assume these two bars are lower than the height 3 but uh, larger than the height 0. We should uh, contain these two bars in the stack. Uh, so it's uh, impossible. So if we assume these two bars are lower than the height of 0, uh, then we will not uh, contain this zero in our stack. So it is uh, also impossible. So all in all, if we have these two index in our stack, that means all the elements between these two index should have larger height than the, the following height. Okay. So as you may know, at first, it, the stack should be the 0, 1, 2, because the height 1, 3, 4 are increasing. And the, then when we try to append this index 3 to the stack, it um, doesn't maintain a increasing stack. So we need to pop some elements from the stack. So we get this 4, and we need to calculate its uh, um, calculate uh, its area. We know that we should use 4 times 1, but how do we get this one? Actually, this is a new rectangle. We need to know its right border and the left border. It should be its width. We already have its height, which is a height stack pick. But how about its width? We should use 3 minus 1 and uh, minus 1 because both of these two bond, the bonders are exclusive. 
So how to get this one? Actually, it's a preceding index in the stack, right? So in order to get the preceding index in the stack, when we try to get the height, we do not use peak, we use pop. So then we can get the preceding index, which is a current peak. Okay, so we get this four times one. How about uh, then we compare these three and uh, the two. We find the three is still greater than two. So we need to calculate the area again. Then currently we need to know this is three times two. How to get these two? The same idea. The right border is still three, but the left border is zero. And we also need two minus one. So the width should be three minus zero minus one. So we get this uh, width. And we do the same thing, the height stack pop times the height, the, you know, this three minus the stack peak minus one. So that's the idea. And you should know the very core cool idea is that uh, all the bars between two index in the stack should be great or equal than the larger index height. Okay, so let's see this example to understand this idea again. Uh, well, first we will have this 0, 1, which is 1, 3 to our stack, and then we find this 2. It is less than the 3, so we need to pop this 3 from the stack. So currently the stack should be index 0, 2, and the height will be 1, 2. Then we find this 1, and it's less than the peak of the stack, which is 2, so we need to pop it from the stack. And as it is straightly in green stack, so we also need to pop this one from the stack. So we push this three to the stack, and we push this three to the, or we should four to the stack. So that's it. Okay, so the note, you should know that we save the index in the stack, not the height. And uh, the important thing I will say again, which is the all the bars between the i and j should be greater or equal than the height j. And the once we get the final increasing stack, see this example, we get the increasing stack is 0, 3, 5, and their height is 1, 2, 3. How do we get uh, all the rectangles? Basically the same idea as this place. As you may notice that the last bar should always contain in the stack. So we have the right border. The right border is just uh, the end of this uh, array, which is an you know, because the length of this array is n, so the right border should also be n. And how about its left border? Its left border should be three, right? So we do the same thing. The height is the height stack pop, and uh, we get its preceding index, which is currently the height peak. And then we minus one because both of these two borders are exclusive. So we get a new rectangle, which is a three times six minus three minus one. Then we do the same thing. The height is two, right? Then we times, still use the right border six minus the left border zero minus one. Actually, we calculated this rectangle, right? Two times five. How about uh, this place, we should calculate one times six. But how do we get this six? We still need another 
left boulder. But it's nothing else in the stack. How about we just push a negative one in the stack when everything starts? So in that case, we will get one times six minus negative one minus one. So to make things simple, we can at first push a negative one to the stack. Okay, so the whole idea is to calculate the width of the new rectangles. And our solution is to use use the right border minus left border and minus one. And uh, to make things simple, we first push the negative one to the stack. Okay, I hope you already understand it. Let, let's first Let's see these two examples again to help you understand. If all the bars have the same height, what will the stack be like? We first push the negative one, and then we push the zero, and the height is three. And as this is a straightly increasing stack, so when we meet the second three, we will pop this first three and push the new one to the stack, so on so forth. And finally, we get this four negative one. And now we do the things. Right border is five, right? And left border is negative one. And we minus one again. So we now get the area, which is 15. This is the whole area. What about we have a zero? height in the histograms. We first push the negative one and we push the zero and the height is three. And then we meet the zero. Zero is less than three. So we pop this three from the stack. And we push one. And we push two. The height is three. So on so forth. And in the end we use the Current height is three times the right border is five. Left border is left border is one, right? It's one, and we negative uh we minus one, so we get the width of three. So three times three we get nine, and we left uh, zero. The height is zero, and the right border five. Left border negative one we minus one so we get zero so i hope you understand this idea we just maintain a straightly increasing stack and once it uh, cannot maintain straightly increasing we calculate the new areas a new rectangles area and when we finally get a increasing stack we do the same thing to get the area of the new rectangles so the time complexity actually is big o n if you look carefully every element we only calculate once how about the space complexity in the worst case we will save all the uh, save all the index to the stack so it's also big o um, so if you understand the idea, the code is quite simple. We first get the length of this height, and we need uh, the stack. We can name the stack array deck. Oh, sorry. And we first push the negative one to the stack, and we need a global variable max. And we just iterate the height. And while it uh, violates the straightly increasing manner, we pop something and calculate the area. So only when the stack peak not equal to negative 1 and uh, the height of the current peak is greater or equal than the heights of current height 
we need to calculate the area, which will be the height stack pop times what about the width? The right border is I. I, sorry, left border is the current peak stack. Sorry, we do not need to uh, guess the height. Stack peak minus one. And every time we need to push the I because this is a straightly increasing stack ending here. So every stack should contain current I. And once we get a straightly increasing stack, we do the same thing, like to negative one. The max will be mass max. The heights of the stack pop times the right border is and left border is stack pick minus one. Finally, return max. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.